nice to meet you. It's key clock time again and today I want to talk about logging in JSON format for Wildfire server or especially for key clock server. So we all know this standard log output from a key clock server when we power up, uh, which is pretty easy readable for us humans because it's in standard text format. But this might become a problem or might become hard when we're using uh, log aggregators, log processors, and we want to parse this data, especially when we're using uh, the logging of events, uh, which I handle in another video. I put the link to the video in the description. And we have the login events and log out events, and we want to parse and process this data automatically. Um, so we can use uh, the standard JSON logger for this in the Wildfire server. And um, it's pretty easy to configure this, uh, that is, it's being used. So for this, I will stop by Keyclock server and uh, remove the container. Um, as you might know, I'm always using Keyclock on uh, the Docker container. And um, I will configure the JBoss CLI um, configuration to use uh, JSON logging. This is pretty easy done by two lines of code. For the first line, we just add the JSON formatter so that the JSON, uh, the log output will be formatted to JSON. Um, there are more um, properties um, you can specify to, uh, to add some more data or to, uh, to format it in different ways. And in the second line, we will add um, the JSON logger, the JSON formatter to our console output. And uh, I will power up uh, the server. And in the meantime, I will explain what these two lines will do exactly in the standalone XML file. So um, yeah, it's uh, the console handler will use the JSON formatter with the name JSON. We added a few lines um, or down. Here's the JSON formatter, name JSON, and it's pretty easy with the tag JSON formatter. That's all what uh, the script will do. And uh, our server will use uh, the JSON format with these two lines of code. And in the meantime, yeah, server is powered up, or still uh, booting. And you see all the log output is done in JSON format. We can process it uh, pretty easy. And um, so now the server is, uh, is up. And when we access it with the browser on a local host 8080, um, just simple login and log out to produce some events. The login, now log out again, switch back to our um, console, then we will see we have the logout event, when we have a login event, and all the uh, things done in JSON format. So we can process the data pretty easy with any processor uh, automated. And yeah, that's all we have to do. Two lines of code in the CLI, and uh, you're done. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked my video. Don't forget to give me some thumbs up and share it wherever you like. If you have any questions or if there's anything you want me to explain here in a short clip, put it in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my videos. Thanks.